All right, you guys, so for today, I wanted to talk about something and show you guys a problem with the aim assist settings right now that's going on ever since the new update dropped in season four. Apparently, the focusing aim assist has been broken and it's got a more stickier aim than ever. There's this tweet that went viral. I'll link that in the description down below. And a lot of people have been talking about it and testing it out for themselves. And I wanted to test this out myself as well. And shout out to the Carnage members. They were the inspiration for this video. I'll leave their video links in the description down below. I'm gonna be actually comparing and contrasting the difference between standard aim assist and focusing aim assist and you guys are definitely going to see a huge difference and i want you guys to let me know down below in the comments if this actually is a problem and needs to be addressed right away and the first thing that we're going to do is i'm going to show you that the standard aim assist actually also comes with a rotational aim assist so as you can see here when i'm just uh, strafing left and right here without aiming down sights it follows the target all right so let me show you guys the difference here let me take off standard and put on focusing now as you can see focusing does not have the same rotational effect so there is one negative of having focusing on there that you might want to consider so let's go back to standard first all right so now that we're back on standard uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna aim down sights and we're just gonna you know slowly track our target and as we move over it slows down just like that as it should so there is a bit of stick right there but not too much but there's definitely some vertical aim assist as you can see here right if you're a sniper this may interest you as well so as you can see it slows down just a tiny bit all right so that was standard aim assist so now let's move on to the focusing aim assist all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and track the target once more as you can see it pauses for a split second towards the middle so again we're gonna go up and down as you can see it slows down dramatically when you're on focusing now realistically of course you know you're gonna be slowing down your aim you're not gonna be doing this on purpose but but i'm only doing this to dramatize it and uh show how effective focusing aiming actually is all right so now we're gonna try it with the sniper oh my goodness dude that is significantly <laughs> slower than standard aim assist right there. If you're a sniper, you may want to consider this. However, you know, of course, in a real life setting, when you're in a multiplayer match, players are going to be harder to hit. You know, they're going to be trying to juke you around and stuff like that and try to stagger their movement. Obviously, this is pretty OP. All right, so now I'm going to have Laddie, who is in front of me, helping me out. Shout out to Laddie. Check out his channel down below as well. He does make Call of Duty videos. I'm going to have him stagger his movement and I'm going to try to follow his movement. So we're going to switch back to standard aim assist. all right so as you can see like the closer he gets this is actually better for standard aim assist because since it's not as magnetic if you want to say i can still be able to take my aim down sights off of him momentarily and be able to track him so let me just actually stop tracking him while i'm strafing all right so as you can see my aim assist is actually being broken just a little bit here i'm trying to track him not too bad actually so now let me go ahead and switch to focusing i'm gonna try the same thing all right so th the main difference that i can tell is that i do lose track of him but it sticks right back onto him right away and i'm <laughs> and i'm trying my absolute best to track him right now too now as you can see the closer he gets it's actually harder to stay control but the aim assist does recover quite quickly and sticks to him wherever he goes all right, so let me switch back to uh, standard so you guys can see another uh, comparison. So this is standard now. The more staggered he makes his movements, the easier it is for me to actually track him. Because since the aim assist breaks at some point, I'm able to make those minor adjustments to be able to track him back into my line of sight. So that's why I would highly recommend staying on standard aim assist if you're a more experienced player. But, you know, if you're a casual player, you play every once in a while, then you would definitely want to go with the focusing aim assist for sure. Because, you know, this is pretty dramatic. Can you see that? That difference is pretty dramatic right there. All right. So it's pretty easy to stick onto your opponent. But however, when those movements do get sporadic, and you can't really predict where he's going to go or if he gets too up close and personal. It's definitely going to be harder to adjust your shot and you would have to aim out and try to hip fire at some point. And remember, focusing aim assist does not have that rotational aim assist. As you can see here, it's pretty you're pretty much on your own at that point. 
All right, so one final thing that I did want to cover was how you can actually still track an opponent even if he's behind an object. So this is absolutely wrong in my opinion and it shouldn't work this way. You know, that aim assist should not be there at all. And as you can see, it slows down even if he's behind that wall. If he's standing behind an object that I can actually penetrate the bullet through, he's definitely gonna die in that gunfight and he's going to be questioning how the heck was I able to kill him in that gunfight if I didn't even aim for his upper body. So that's where the issue is gonna arise. So now I'm gonna have him duck and you're gonna not see him at all. All right, so now that he's prone, we're gonna try this again and there is actually no slowdown whatsoever when he is out of our sight it should still be that way even if he is behind that object that there should be no aim assist at all i think that definitely needs to get fixed uh but yeah guys this was just a really short video that i wanted to bring to your attention hopefully they can get this fixed but you know let me know down below in the comments does this actually need to get fixed and also leave a like on this video if you did learn something about aim assist and knowing which aim assist actually works best for you make sure you subscribe if you're new around here join turbo nation today so you can never miss a new video when i do upload them and i hope you guys have a good day Hey, have a good one. Peace.